My name is Richard Lincoln, and this is my 1973 911S 2.7 that was previously owned by Peter Gregg. The story behind the car was that after Peter Gregg and Hurley Haywood won Sebring and Daytona in 1973, he wanted to build a couple road cars to celebrate their victory. He originally ordered a white car from his dealership in Brumos and wanted to paint the stripe on the car. Peter was particular about options. He wanted the blue tinted windows, a sunroof, and the seats. Well, unfortunately, the car, the white car was stolen before it was finished being painted. So Porsche had to rush and find another car. The silver one was the only car available at the time with the options he's wanted. So they did it with this car, they painted it silver. But Peter was not someone who was content with a standard 911S. He went through the car and ordered all the factory parts, including the fender flares, the wing, and many other parts from Helmut Bott, who ran the racing department. Porsche would not import a 2.7 RS, no matter how hard he tried. So he built all the modifications himself. Some of the things that he did differently were the tires. It was the first time 16s were used and they were continued to use on this body style until 1989. He used the headlights from Seabay since he raced, he wanted better lights. And he basically, per his personal touch on the car. Some of the parts he ordered were a 906 camshaft, so the car was a little less torquey in low end, but it had more horsepower. He kept the motor at 2.4 and had the car for about a year when one of his good customers and local Jacksonville residents traded it in on a 916 and they swapped. The car passed through a couple hands and about 100,000 miles later in the late 80s, the car came back to Brumos, traded in. There had been a small dent on the fender, um, nothing too serious. And this car was ready and in need of a restoration. So Brumos bought the car. At that time, Bob Snodgrass was running the company and they decided to restore the whole car back to the way Peter Gregg had had it. Um, took a while, took about a year or so, but it was done and at that time, Bob Snodgrass decided to purchase the car for himself. He took the numbers matching 2.4 motor and enlarged it to 2.7. When the car was finished, it was dynoed at 200 horsepower at the wheels. When a factory 27RS had 210 horsepower at the crank, so it was a much quicker car than the 27RS. I'm trying to do as many rallies as it, and we can, and it's been a blessing to be up here at the Smoky Mountain Tour. The car is just on its own, it's in its element, and been having a lot of fun with it. Tim got to drive it and really enjoyed it, and I feel that anyone who gets behind the wheel of this car really uh, loves it. It's been showed at Cavallino, where it won its class. I had it at Target 66 out on the track, and had it just Half, uh, half an hour for sessions, over and over again. It's gone to the supermarket. It's gone to the vet. It just does what it's supposed to do. And it does rallies like this with no problem. So it's been a joy. Well, this car, it does have a five speed, but on the highway, you know, 75 miles an hour, you're starting to get up to four grand. Um, so it's not much of a car for Florida where I live. However, this car really comes into the, its own when you have beautiful mountains and roads like this. Um, having many different cars of many different eras, this is my mountain carver. Um, it just loves to be driven hard. And once you really start putting some weight into it and you understand how a 911 drives, it is a very fast and very effective tool. Um, compared to some of my other cars, like my 64 e Silver Volta or my 66 Shelby GT350. This is not so much of a daily driver. It needs a five minute warm up period to cycle everything in. 
it's very specific, but once it, everything's good, you can really drive it hard. Um, but I enjoy most driving this car in the hills, the mountains, and really driving it the way it meant to be. Support brands that support classic motorsports. Get your chemical solutions from CRC Industries. Visit crcindustries.com to learn more.